When removing the BBR, chiller, and accessories from the crate, be sure to check for any damage that may have occurred during shipping. Before operating the BBR, review all caution and warning statements in Section B of the User Manual. The accessories included with the BBR are the load frame, all necessary connection cables and air hoses, the BBR gauge kit, specimen molds, the BBR lid, the stylus with stylus holder, and the BBR software. There are four screws securing the shroud to the load frame. Remove the front two screws and loosen the back two screws to remove the shroud from the frame. Remove the foam from inside the load shroud if present and unscrew the lower portion of the load shroud from the upper portion. Lift the load nose and carefully screw it onto the threaded stud in the bottom of the load cell until it is finger tight. When complete, secure the load nose in place by tightening the set screw on the side of the load nose. Once the load nose is secured, lift the upper portion of the shroud around it. Use the back two screws to guide it into place before tightening them and carefully screwing in the front two screws. To reattach the lower portion of the load shroud, carefully lift the load frame and position it so the load nose is directly above the lower portion of the shroud. Lift the lower portion of the shroud up and gently screw it into the upper portion. Connect the electrical cables from the back of the base unit to the back of the load frame assembly. Connect the air hoses to the ports on the rear of the base unit and to the ports at the rear of the load frame assembly. The air supply connections supply a minimum of 60 PSI of clean, dry air. Make sure the location of air hoses will not snag or catch on anything in the surrounding environment. The line pressure regulator is positioned on the left inside panel. This pressure is set at 60 PSI. The bearing pressure regulator is located to the right of the line pressure regulator and is set at 20 PSI. Before using the BBR, ensure that both regulators are set to the appropriate pressure. 
Connect the chiller RTD cable from the rear of the base unit to the refrigeration unit. Connect the chiller communication cable between the chiller communication port on the rear of the BBR and the RS-485 port on the rear of the chiller. Plug the power cables into the base unit and the refrigeration unit, then plug them into a surge protected power source of appropriate voltage. Before filling the bath, place the magnetic stirrer in the base of the bath and ensure that the drain plug is secured. Fill the BBR with 1.5 gallons so the liquid is approximately 1.5 to 2 inches from the top. Refer to individual test specifications for fluid type. Once the bath is set up and the lid has been secured, the BBR is ready to be powered on.